uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in the previous video we talked about how closer behaves what is a closer and we talk about closer with set timeout and try to understand it so now we know the difference between both snippet of the code right it will print one two three four five with one second of interval right and you already know what the output will be here it will print uh, i five five times okay now what we are going to do is we are going to use closures to create a private or uh, variables okay private counter or a variable this we are going to achieve and so first of all whenever you are uh, assigning any variable with like x90 in javascript what happens with x90 this kind of variables always gets added to the window object global object or whenever you create uh, something like this this will be accessible in the context if this is uh, defined inside a particular function or a particular block now you have a let uh, earlier we used to have only uh, a var keyword right so now we already know the difference between lat and var keyword and this declaration this will just add this x to the global object this will have a scope to a particular block this will have a function level scope i mean wherever it is defined now we will try to create a private variable inside a particular function or an object and try to access it first of all how to create a private variable is there any concept like this we will try to see this so we will create a const counter this is an anonymous function and in this function we are creating a counter and that is initialized with 0 so whenever inside a function or an object when you create a variable with a let or a war keyword that is considered as a private because you can't access it directly okay you have to write uh, one getters or setters method or some particular methods to access that variable so this is increment and what I'm doing is return here I have underscore counter plus equal to increment right and there is a get method get counter what this method is doing this method will return as the value what is the problem okay this is an object okay get counter and here I can access underscore counter right this is how I am accessing now you might see the difference whenever we create a variables we assign it to okay this dot x equal to let's say this dot x is 90 okay in this particular case what you will do is if you wanted to get the values you can actually so whatever the value which you are binding to this context are public so you can access it uh, you will just get an object like uh, you can expose it this is a public but whenever you are creating a variable with a lat and var inside a function body those are private and those can be exposed through some function only like here I am exposing it with the counter method so what I am doing is here I will be just calling this method c counter and c dot add 5 something like this and here I am printing c dot add 9 and then c dot retrieve so it will maintain the value of counter and we will get the updated value out of it so counter will increase with 5 and 9 so it will return as the 14 value right so it's like a variable which is holding the value and which is a private in the scope okay and you can't directly access it just by creating the object of this so the counter c right c is representing uh, this particular function so you can't access the counter value directly you have to call the methods and try to access it okay so this is all about creating the private variables and uh, hiding the implementation this can be used where you have a private variables which can't be accessed directly okay so uh, now we can talk about why why there is a need of closure I mean why closure is needed okay so function has a method public function we'll talk about one example and try to see this this will uh, make our concept more clear 
so we talked about private variables right so something there is a called private functions also which we might have not used we might ha have not written in the daily code coding so whenever i'm creating something like this for x underscore x i i used to write these private things with underscore so i will know okay this is a private variable private functions so this is anonymous variable pointing to anonymous variable function okay and what i'm doing is i can't access this function directly just by function calling this function and dot public function okay what i can do is i can't do it like this like here sorry my bad private function so if i want to access this private function i have to call a public function which is exposed from this functions and then i can actually call this from there so this public function is calling this private function so in function you can also create a private function or a private variables which are exposed to the public entity here also we are returning this object this object has two public methods add and get counter these are revealing this object and then we are accessing the counter similarly here private function this is a variable assigned with the functions and i can't access directly function dot private function i'm i will call what this function is returning this object and i will call public function which indirectly calling this private function for me okay so this is a public functions and uh, you cannot call the private function directly so we have to call the a public function which will call that okay so we talked a lot about uh, closer closer is actually a combination of function handler together and it has a different set of scope if we talk about what all different set of scope uh, a closer will have closer has a function chain all right i will just put this here the closer has access to three different scope chains it has access to its own scope variables it has access to outer function variable it has access to the global variables defined in it right and i mean uh, i didn't talk about this example i should have discussed about this example in the first go like a simple very simple example to understand a closer is this one where we are actually calling this uh, function so let's talk about const x i am calling outer function okay so outer function is returning inner now i will be calling this x as a inner function and we will get a, a plus b uh, which is 30 how that is happening we called the outer function even outer function has returned but x which is representing the inner function because outer is returning inner function x which is a function is having the value of this outer scope outer uh, function variable which is b10 it has it is still having the value inside it because it it is storing that value b10 in the closer of the inner function even when the outer function has returned and here i'm calling this so const y and i'm able to get this right so a plus b a is already in the scope but how it is getting the value of b because that is stored inside the closer of my inner function even when the outer function has already returned from this line okay so now it is clear that out uh, this closer it is a uh, inner function is access to the outer scope variables are global and the scope which is defined inside this particular block okay so i mean you you might uh, you might encounter a lot of different examples of the closer but, but this is an important aspect of javascript and this is asked everywhere okay so if we just talk about few more examples to understand more about it so here what we are doing is we have a say hello function which is taking name as an argument and there is a say it's the same example like inner and outer function say and console dot log text you are still have access to text even when you actually returned the say hello function and now you are calling say two right hello paul paul is being passed here and you still have the value in the say two function why because that value is stored inside a closer a closer is an inner function that has access to the outer and closing functions variable the closer has three different scope all part of same chain it has access to its own scope variable defined between the curly brackets right or it has access to the outer function variables which is this and it has access to the global variables 
right so this is actually a summarize summary of uh, what we are talking other examples are the same which is mostly like inner functions and outer function which is doing the same thing first and last here we are calling the first name it's like a curry you can relate this with the curry functions in javascript where you are actually calling an outer function returning inner function then returning inner function and the innermost function has access to the variables which are passed while calling the outer function inner inner function then innermost function so show full name here we are passing this and there is a construct full name which is doing this okay okay so this is all about uh, closures guys we'll talk more about uh, callbacks custom callback if we block in multiple ways okay in uh, basic question so we are covering like some of the important aspects of javascript which are most popular and asked in interviews like closures if we block uh, the scope and constructor function how to create an object of a function prototypal inheritance and all these things